What is up guys, this is Turtles Total from Two Stupid Gamers and today I'm bringing you a quick gameplay, quick commentary on um, this a new map called Piazza or Plaza, I can't remember what it was called something like that, uh, it's one of the new map packs which came out on the 24th of January for Xbox 360 Elite subscribers and it's not too much of a bad gameplay, it's 24 and 2 or something like that no 24 and 8 sorry, or so nothing too amazing but it's just because like this is like the second game I played of the of that day of this map of the of of, the, of like any game I played, and it was this map, and I did quite well for like the second time I've ever played this map, so I felt like like doing a quick commentary for it today, and I uploaded it today on the day it came out, just so it might get a few more views than it normally would if it was any other day. But yes, yeah, so today I'm not going to be talking about the gameplay too much, although I'm going to say I do get off right off the start with my kill streaks, and at the end I start doing quite bad. But anyway, um, today I want to talk about uh, what I was like when I was younger. And I was a baby and what I used to do when I was younger and like a little kid. So, yeah, so, when I was younger, I used to be a complete weird person. Well, <laughs> that was a good way to start, but when I was like, I would say a baby, a toddler or whatever, I used to be so interested in anything electrical, anything with buttons on it, and anything with like, something you can do on it, like, is it, does that make sense? No, it probably doesn't, but something with like, electronic, that you can press buttons and it does stuff and make noises and makes lights come on. <laughs> well, I was pretty amazed by all that. And uh, my mum and my mum and dad used to give me a nickname Button Boy or Fingers Malone. And because I always used to like fiddling with things, I used to like play with anything electronic. And I always used to like because my dad had a really good like hi-fi system, like stereo, work uh, over at least fifteen grand. And I used to, and I never broke anything when I was younger. Like not one thing. I didn't break anything electronic or anything worth a lot of money. Which I'm quite amazed at. I used to like get things working. I just used to use things like like the radio and everything. And yeah, so I was fingers Malone according to mum and dad. And I used to like manage to get the TV working and stuff and like get everything, like electronic stuff working at which they couldn't figure out. And I don't know how when I was like five and six or something. I used to know how to work the TV and plug everything in and set up stuff and like set up the PlayStation One and Mega Drive. Oh my god, the Mega Drive and PlayStation One. I think they are probably the best two games consoles which I ever invented. Well, not maybe not the PlayStation One, but there were a few good games which I used to be addicted to because I used to love them. But the Mega Drive, if you don't know what a Mega Drive is, uh, I think that's my number one games console, <laughs> other than the Xbox 360. Um, it is a 8-bit or 16-bit um, console, which isn't good because, like, I think the Xbox or something is over. A million bit or something. I can't remember the stats because I remember my dad was telling me a few yeah. years ago that they have advanced so much from an 8-bit games console to like a million or something bit, but it's a lot. But I don't know what bit means exactly. But anyway, Mega Drive. It was an amazing games console, and I used to enjoy playing that when I was younger. And when I was younger, my dad used to be quite good at games like that on the PS1 and Mega Drive. And I was the one like who was to go, "Oh, dad, I can't get past this level. Or how do I do this?" And now um, it's like I, my dad can't do anything, and I can do everything because uh, my dad really doesn't know how to work Xboxes at all. I remember when I first got my Xbox, I tried teaching him how to play World at War, and it didn't go well because he didn't really know how to move at all. He used to remember about what three buttons did, and whenever I told him another three buttons, the other three buttons he forgot wh what they did. But anyway, another little story about when I was younger. Um, my mum took me to like some photo developing shop or something. I think I was like two at the time and um, back then like, there wasn't really any digital cameras like well one that was cheap enough for us to afford and like you know the old cameras which used to have to get the film developed or like disposable cameras where you take them into like t Tesco's or something and then they sort of like um, they sort of print out the pictures for you but yeah I was there and according to my mum this is what I've been told so I don't know what happened exactly because I can't remember much when I was two but um, there was a gay person like serving us, a gay man serving us and well, we was basically getting everything done like normally and then he was printing out the pictures and giving it to us and I shouted out really loud I went uh, and according to my mum I said Mummy how come he look like a man but talk like girl <laughs> and uh, I sort of like said that and it must have been so embarrassing for the guy who was actually gay but uh, my mum just sort of like laughed and said oh oh shut up Michael or something and uh, the the, cat, the guy working there just like smiled and laughed and like he didn't really take much bother of it because gay people really aren't aggressive are they they sort of take everything and laugh at it and that was that um, one of my little stories of me wondering why a gay person talked like a girl 
and yeah. So something else I used to do when I was younger, um, which is I've I've got footage of it on my my dad's old camcorder of us when we was babies, and um, whenever I was given dinner, I used to have fish fingers a lot, and I used to I used to like them, but for some reason I used to feel the need to throw them at my sister and at my dad. Not my mum, I don't know why I didn't throw them at my mum, but I seemed to feel the need to throw my fish fingers at my mum. Not at, at my dad, sorry, and at my sister. So I, I used to just be casually eating my food, and then I, I was enjoying my fish fingers and that, and I just felt the need to throw a fish finger at my sister's face. Don't know why I felt the need for that, but I just did. And um, my sister's three years older than me, and she used to always like, because at the time, and I was like, I would say about one or two, again, um, I couldn't really speak properly. I don't, I, I don't know. I didn't start like, co co what's the word? Communicating much until I got a bit older because I was a bit of a late bloomer. Tee Not to say I'm not big down there. What? Okay. Anyway, carry on. Um. Yeah. My sister used to always look after me and like do stuff. And because I couldn't really talk much, um, I couldn't like talk to my mum and dad to say I was like hungry or stuff. Um. I used to just make noises like ow, ooh, ooh, ah, and stuff like that. Um, I used to like point at things and like try and grab things and my sister was always the one that seemed to understand what I wanted and sort of got me the stuff and she was a very nice sister but now she's an arsehole. Um, I hope you don't watch this Claire but yeah. Um, when you get older like I'm 14 at the moment and she's going to be 17 in a few weeks. And it was my birthday a couple of weeks ago actually, no last last week on Wednesday 18th of January and I got an iPod touch and money but that's besides the point so happy birthday for me like a couple of days ago, months, weeks. I don't know, 18th of January, can't have to work it out, you work it out, I don't know how many days that was, but, anyway, um, what was I saying, about, fuck, oh, when you get older, you seem to go, up, like, when you're a bit, like, teenagers, you seem to, like, draw apart from your brother or sister, uh, but when you're younger, you seem to, like, be drawing together, then apart when you're teenagers, then back together when you're older and mature, but, that's how it works at the moment, like, that. And my sister used to like give me biscuits and shit what I needed and like knowed if I needed to go to the toilet if I was hungry. Knew if I needed to go to the toilet, sorry, not knowed. I knowed. <laughs> but yeah, so that's basically just something to talk about. I really didn't know what to talk about, so I talk so I talk talk da da I can't talk at the moment. I can't say talk da don't oh, fuck off. Uh, I think this is a good time to end the commentary. So thanks for watching guys. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Um I say that in every video but Thanks for watching guys, peace out, have a good day, bye.